Hi Founder fans, Jason here. Did you know there was a child who spent a good amount of time playing at Mount Vernon under the watchful eye of George Washington that would grow up to be hung at the gallows? Yeah, today we're talking about John Price Posey. Now John Price Posey was a childhood friend of John Park Custis. John Park Custis, of course, was George Washington's stepson. He was Martha Washington's child from her first marriage. Now, these two boys grew up together. Didn't seem like there was anything wrong. Uh, John Price Posey did come from a less wealthy family. He would be probably what we consider today middle class, although that's not a term they used back then. So they grow up, and Posey starts uh, working for the Washingtons. He ends up being the caretaker of the Custis estate. This was a property that John Park Custis's father had left him in his will, and Posey was taking care of it until Custis was ready to come move in. Uh, at about this time, Posey had done well enough to be, receive a justice ship. He became a justice of the peace for New Kent County in Virginia. This was a, similar to small claims court that we have today, handling uh, kind of smaller, not as important trials and court cases. But unfortunately, John Park Custis, as I mentioned yesterday, passed away during and just after the Battle of Yorktown. So now, just still only 21 years old, Posey lost his good friend, and he seems to also have started to lose his mind. Because he starts committing some small crimes. He, uh, he steals a cow from the Custis estate because he believed that he was owed some pay. And this kind of soured George Washington on Custis. I'm sorry, on Posey. Uh, George Washington soured on Posey a little bit because he had been stealing from him and they were having debates about money. And that is never good for a friendship. Especially one of this nature where it was really his kid's friend. So, Posey then goes on to destroy a, ba uh, a bond, a legal bond, which he loses his judgeship for because it was a legal document and he destroyed it for some reason. And from there, he really starts to lose it. Now, some years go by, and in early 1788, he gets into a fight with a sheriff. Now, I'm unable to figure out exactly what they were fighting about, but I do know that he assaulted a sheriff, and he was brought to jail. And he was sentenced to spend 30 days in jail. Somehow he breaks out of the jail, and uh, goes out and gets his friend, and recruits two slaves. And these four men go to the, court, the jail where he was being held, and they decide to burn it down. They then go to the county hall, and, or, or, or the capital, uh, town, uh, the clerk's office, I'm sorry, the clerk's office for the county. And they burn that down and then flee into the woods. Now, this is real unacceptable behavior and he's found the next day. He is given a quick trial and he is sentenced to hang because arson was a capital offense at the time. And days later, he is hung on January 25th, 1788. He is brought to the gallows, and he is hung. Now, before he was executed, he reached out to several of his wealthy friends trying to get Governor Ed Edmund Randolph to pardon him. And this includes George Washington, who refused to respond. Now, to put this into some context, this is after the Constitution had just been signed a few months earlier in the fall, and the ratification debates had begun. At this point, five states had ratified the Constitution, but the other eight had not. Massachusetts was, a, Massachusetts was a week away from doing so, but we're right in the heart of it. And you have uh, James Ma uh, Madison and Alexander Hamilton writing the Federalist Papers in New York, and George Washington, although publicly he was keeping to himself privately, he was writing letters trying to promote the new government. And he didn't want to be distracted with this wayward boy that he had lost total faith in, and he did not respond and try and help Posey stay his execution. Now, again, these men fought for a republic, especially George Washington. They wanted a republic. They wanted a government of laws, not of men. And the law said 
arson, which is obviously a terrible crime, should be punishable by death. And he broke that law. Obviously, it was clear he broke these laws. So why would anyone try to help him? And the last thing I'd like to add about this is the county clerk's house that he burned down in New Kent County. This held all the records for the county, and we lost dozens, hundreds, thousands maybe, of documents that could be so valuable to historians today. And unfortunately, you and I can't read these documents because John Price Posey lost his mind and burned some buildings down. So that is the extremely short life of John Price Posey, a child who did spend a good amount of his youth in the Washington household, who grew up to be hung. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like. It really helps me out. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe if you just stumbled onto the video. I, my name is Jason. Thank you so much, and I will be back tomorrow for one last video of the week.